Hi everyone, my name is Yariv. I'm head of product at Anadot. I've been in the industry for about 25 years, previously at SAP for many years, doing the advisory work and mentor work at startups uh, with a uh, vast uh, tech uh, background. Fantastic, and myself again, Nikki Alon, CTO and co-founder of Gainsight PX, also a co-author of Mastering Product Experience in SaaS. It's a free downloadable book from Gainsight website. Uh, previously CTO and founder of Gainsight PX, which is uh, the platform that Anadot is using as well. And before that, I also founded a, a marketing automation company acquired by Marketo. So I spent a couple of years at Marketo as well. Uh, so my background is really from the user experience, customer experience, and customer engagements. So in the agenda today, we're going to discuss what is the global disruption, how is it a catalyst to really product-led growth, also in B2B companies, um, how this really product led growth helps you drive lower customer acquisition um, and really increasing customer value. Um, also, we're going to dive into the Anodot use case and lesson learned how now uh, Yariv is uh, really moving towards that uh, motion of trying to help and support growth in the company. Um, and we discuss, we're going to discuss how he sees the new customer acquisition model. Um, all the gaps and challenges, we're in B2B, the platform and products are gonna be wide. Uh, we usually see in product like growth, we are mentioning Atlassian, we're mentioning Slack, but what about the more uh, B2B style platforms when you have uh, a wide set of capabilities of the product, as well as uh, the use cases that the product is serving in personas. So let's delve into that and then see how uh, he was able to accelerate time to value from weeks and months into really minutes in this new experiment that he's running. So starting with product led growth, and is it really relevant for B2B? It means that I'm using and leading with my product. I can demonstrate the, the value that it delivers. Uh, I'm focusing on time to value and it is possible to do it with B2B. I've done it more than twice, and this is really something that uh, we would like to see the industry going forward with. Um, and then in COVID-19, it looks like it's a catalyst to really come up with a more efficient way to live with your product and close the loop uh, and have and create that uh, uh, confidence with your customers that you can deliver the, the, the use case they're trying to solve. But before we just uh, share that data, one thing is for sure is we're trying to, in, in the volatile economy, we're trying to be a more predictable uh, revenue type of company. We, uh, the, the time that growth at all costs is no longer valid. Uh, in the past, as soon as, as, as if you can grow, then you're gonna, gonna get evaluation, it's gonna go high and you're gonna get a lot of funding. Today, you should show the uh, sustainability models very quickly because then otherwise the market will drop your valuation dramatically. So we can see here on the right side really to how the margins are, are dropping if you're not efficient. So it means that uh, to grow from a billion dollar company to $10 billion company, if your margin are getting uh, uh, lower, your valuation is going to drop dramatically. So efficiency area and time to value and trying to optimize that is key for companies is sustainability. Basically, we need a plan. We started by understanding that we have this shift in go-to-market. Um, most important, if, if you want to do this change, you need a, a buy-in across the board in the company. Marketing needs to adjust, sales need to adjust, customer success needs to adjust, and of course, product and R&D. We wanted to start doing kind of a creative iterative call it them experiments. So try to find out what are the pain points to the existing customers, which we can leverage. So basically create a lot of small different offerings instead of the big Anadot platform, which is what's selling today to hundreds of customers. And iterate fast um, in order to find out what sticks.
identify key and relevant pain points, do demand gen based on pain points, okay? Create landing pages, and then deliver in product personalized onboarding, again, for each pain point. And, and I'll give a few examples in a second to make it a bit more concrete. And then we want you to do auto provisioning. Until today, there's no auto provisioning in Amazon. You sign a contract and our, uh, your account uh, is created by us and then a dedicated customer success manager uh, uh, welcomes you to Anodot and does a training and shows you how to use the product. So we didn't have any self-service, any auto provisioning. Furthermore, we wanted you to have content waiting for you once you started using the new product or the new package. Anodot is a very powerful tool. We can consume almost any data stream which you can imagine, whether it's Kafka or, or uh, uh, um, uh, BigQuery or S3 or any, almost any database and any data source which, you can, uh, which customers are using. But when you start with it, it's empty. Okay, there's no content there. It's just a set of capabilities. And we understood that if we want to make this work, once you go into the product, you had to have content ready for you. And last but not least, of course, we want you to be able to measure our success, to kind of measure, rinse, repeat, and keep iterating on the process until we get it right. 